My name is Heather Montgomery. I'm originally from Fresno, California. Um, me and my family have just recently moved up here to Pasco, Washington uh, to, follow, to obey God and um, learn with this ministry. That's a big move, you guys. That's a big, thank you, thank you. That's a huge move to just pack up everything that you have and move up here simply because the Holy Spirit told you to do so. But that's what we're called to do. We are called to be that obedient to the Holy Spirit. So can you tell us, I mean, it takes faith to do something like that. So tell me about your faith journey. Tell me about what's been happening in your life. Well, to start it all off, um, growing up and up until about uh, January of last year, um, I have suffered with depression, anxiety, and suicide. After I had my two kids, uh, my suicidal thoughts uh, turned into tendencies, and in January, I actually almost committed suicide. Um, in Towards the middle of January, God started turning my focus, and um, he basically reached out for me and started working on my heart. In... August of last year, I had prayed to God and asked him to put a ministry in my YouTube feed, and he put Hungry Generation in my feed. And on the second Sunday service, um, you guys had said a deliverance prayer, and I screamed that prayer with all my might. And halfway through that prayer, I just started sobbing, and I could feel, feel God just just come in and give me this tight hug. And I felt everything release off of me. I no longer suffer with depression. I no longer suffer with anxiety. And I have not had one suicidal thought since that day. Um, after, after God delivered me from that, um, he put it in my heart that we needed to move here. I had mentioned to my husband, you know, hey, we need to move. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> And so um, then I had learned that you guys were doing a conference last year in Federal Way, and I had prayed, and I asked God for a sign. And he gave me a sign on Facebook. This one post just kept popping up over and over and over again. It said, God is having a family reunion. Are you coming? <laughs> it would not leave me alone. Like, it followed me ever, all day long on Facebook. It, it just, just kept popping up over and over. So I was like, okay, hey, honey, I got to go to federal way. <laughs> and so... Um, I went to the conference. On the first night um, for prayer line, I received healing in my shoulder. Um, I used to have sharp shooting pains just shoot down my arm anytime I would throw anything. I no longer have that pain. <laughs> On the second day, um, Pastor Vlad had asked who wanted to give their life to Jesus. I felt the Holy Spirit just come over me. My heart was gonna pound out of my chest and I kept telling myself, just stay seated, it's okay. And, well, I couldn't help but stand up. It's like the Holy Spirit was like, here, <laughs> stand up. You need to. And so I stood up, and since that day, my life has, like, just dramatically changed. The next night, um, or no, later on that day, um, after I got saved, I went to Mariana's class, which was how to, to maintain your deliverance. Every point that she came to, the Holy Spirit had already told me in my hotel room that morning. And so it, I just kept getting more and more overwhelmed with joy. I actually wanted to cry whenever Mariana was giving her speech. It was just awesome feeling. Um, the next night, uh, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit and I spoke in tongues for the first time. I mean, come on, you guys. Like, delivered? First, delivered first, then saved. I mean, she wasn't even saved yet. So it just goes to show that the blessings of God, that you can receive them no matter where you're at in your life. The Holy Spirit will use anything to get to you. Amen. And then she got healed, right? And now there's more filled with the Holy Spirit. If you desire it, he will give it to you. There is no gift he wants to withhold from you. Amen. Okay, let's keep going, girl. There's more. So after the conference, my life was completely changed. I even, as soon as I got home, I went out into the backyard and I, I took my dog out with me. I grabbed the ball and I threw it across the yard and I was like, look, honey, look, I can do this again. <laughs> 
Um, and then after that, um, I knew that we needed to start preparing for our move. In December, um, while I was doing the dishes, the Holy Spirit said, you need to start packing. And I thought to myself, like, okay, was that me thinking that? Or was that the Holy Spirit? And I texted my husband. He laughed. I was like, okay, well. Um, in January, we started prepping our house for sale and all of that. And the Holy Spirit convicted both my husband and I. Um, basically, he said, you're not moving fast enough. And so I went to my husband. I was like, the Holy Spirit said, we're not moving fast enough. We need to get the ball on the roll. And he's all, that's funny. I had the same thought. <laughs> And so we started getting our house together, and within two months, we had our house prepped and ready on the market. We had 10 showings, and by the next Saturday, our house was pending sale. Yeah. And our, uh, we originally did a 45-day escrow, but it turned into, I, I believe it was a 20 day. 28 day escrow it closed no problems no issues yeah. it just went so super smooth and come on, come on. I feel like God did that because of this whole pandemic he wanted us to do it now and not wait any further I think if we hadn't have obeyed God we wouldn't be here right now yeah. so Come on. I mean, it just goes to show that what the Holy Spirit calls you to do, he will provide for what he calls you to do. Amen. I mean, for things to go smoothly for selling your house, if anybody has ever sold your house, it's just not really a thing, you know? <laughs> but okay, for, for those who are listening, for those who are watching, whether they have faith or not, what would be your advice to those who are in similar positions, just knowing that they're at the end of their ropes? Hold on to hope. And when you have no one else to turn to, turn to God. Just, he hears everything you tell him. Like, even if it's just you're saying it to yourself, in your head, in your heart, he hears you. Cry out to him. He wants to help you. Yeah. Amen. So just to recap, you have no suicidal thoughts. No. You have no pain in your shoulder. Nope. And you're saved, you're healed, you're free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much.